very passionate about educating people. So, when I decided to adopt this baby project in Iniilo, which is called Feed Me Night Radio Program, which I also teach um, elementary students, I realized that with the power that I have, with the influence that I have, people are going to listen to me. Because now, with Miss Universe Philippines, I have a voice. And I talked to Mama J, I talked to the organization. It was a mutual decision that I want to become an ambassadress for education. Because there's so much um, change, there's so much improvement that I want to see in my country. And with the experience that I have being a teacher, you know, it's something that I really can relate myself to other people, to students, and to other lecturers as well. That's why I'm very much excited to have future projects and I know that with the strength and knowledge that I have, I'm going to make an impact in other people's hearts. Amanda Chalisa Obdum, you're reigning Miss Universe Thailand. What have I done to become a leader? Well, when I think of a leader, I think of someone that walks the walk and they inspire others through their action. So I think of my action as being a leader. Whether it's starting my Have You Listened campaign, all about advocating about mental health, or even competing in Miss Universe Thailand and winning it, so if I can inspire others to do more, learn more, dream more, and become more, then I think of myself as a successful leader. The woman in a leadership position that I admire is Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. She's very empowering and inspiring, both compassionate and strong, and leads her country with empathy. I find it very powerful that there's a female leader like her for the younger generation to look up to. She's also dealt with terrorist attacks and deadly volcanic eruption, all while holding a baby. Who said a woman can't do it all? We can improve women's access to leadership position by acknowledging that we, as women, have the abilities and capabilities to do any job. So let's ingrain this into the minds of the newer generation and every single woman in this world boost their self-confidence and self-belief. Let them know that they can be whoever they want to be by giving equal opportunities to both men and women. In the future, I don't want us to be talking about male or female leaders. Let's just talk about leaders. This year on International Women's Day, I want to use this opportunity to encourage every single woman to be yourself and be proud of who you are, because you can achieve anything if you put your mind into it. And we as women can have International Women's Day every day. <laughs>